Poor succession planning meant the Duchy of Augsburg was split in two. Time to take back what's rightfully mine. We just peacefully reunited Bavaria and Germany. Yay for making the Pope pay for my misdeeds. Like this murder to prevent Germany and Bavaria from splitting again. Duke Gus II inherits a time of great peace and prosperity. After a successful but uneventful hunt, he throws a feast to celebrate life. No! My wine! The next order of business is making a good match for my daughter. Our father Duke Jacob's move to secure council right pays off as we slide into the steward's chair to benefit our liege as well as our coffers. Um, excuse me, the fuck happened to my daughter? Well, shit. Our king has his eyes on the prize and declared war on the kingdom of Lotharingia. This could be clutch in him forming the Holy Roman Empire, so of course, we've got to help out. While the war is on, our wife was kind enough to provide us with a spare. And with the war won, it's time to make a match for our heir. Not the most noble of bloodlines, but strong genes are always worth it. Thank you, but, uh, no thanks. Hard to be gay in the 11th century. Wow. All that work uniting Germany under our liege, thrown away in a generation. Guess we're just gonna have to form the Holy Roman Empire ourselves. Ah yes, everyone loves a good book. Time to stake our claim. All right, who wants to join the revolution? Gotta butter up the gentry so if they don't help, at least they don't get in my way. Even though we have no supporters, with our liege already fighting against Germany, it's time to press this claim. We raise our army and quickly get them on the march to the Bavarian capital, whilst dispatching messages to all of our allies. With discretion being the better part of valor, we retreat from the first major battle of the war. But with allies on the way, it is only a matter of time. With the capital claimed, we mobilize the forces for the first and hopefully decisive battle. The Bavarian army dances, but we catch them on two fronts at once, laying the smackdown on both. After several more sieges and a lopsided run-in with the German army, victory is in sight. But our liege's forces decide to press a counterattack to reclaim lost territory. A contract about to expire in the middle of this war is no good and we go into debt to deal with it. Luckily, I think the Pope will help. And with the final battle won, King Brenegar has no choice but to capitulate. Long live King Gus. After a protracted bout of vassal management, I come home and find myself forced to ask my wife, Will you close it? One tiny little bribe, and Bohemia decides to join the new Kingdom of Bavaria. Hoping to keep the Pope on our good side, we try to arrest an excommunicated Duke, and instead, he decides to revolt. Sucks for you, buddy. Behold the might of Bavaria. The end of the war is marked by the death of my son. This certainly wasn't the plan. Uh, excuse me, what? Well, shit. To show his devotion to God and his commitment to defending the faith, King Gus founds a holy order. A feast, what could possibly go wrong? Oh yeah, I suppose that could go wrong. Whew, crisis averted. Damn, I'm surprised it took this long. Born to be a duke, Gus II died a king. King Jacob knows his goal to reunite Bavaria and Germany under the Schultz dynasty. But how will he do it? Find out next time.